I am trying a brand new math curriculum for our seventh grade upcoming school year. I am praying and hoping that it works really well for us. Why don't you take a look inside with me? Hey, I'm Kira. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today, we are going to be looking into something brand new that I got for us for our seventh grade math. I am hoping and praying that this really works well for us. If you are new to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe and click that bell for notifications. Also check me out on Instagram. Welcome back to all my subscribers. I would love to hear from you. If you have used Matthew C's curriculum before, I will admit I invested in a brand new perspective for our seventh grade math because we had been doing a lot of traditional math styles. We tried the online teaching textbooks, which I know came highly recommended, and it did work partially for us, but I felt like there was a lot of gaps where my son was still left questioning or not really having visual representation of what he was doing on paper, and it just didn't really stick. Felt like we were kind of spinning our wheels. So halfway last year, I kind of went back into some traditional math from um, a Becca math that was given to me. And although the content makes sense, I think it was just not making sense to my son in the way I would hope. I was kind of wanting him to make a lot more progress in math. He is very good at math from the time he was like in first and second grade, first learning addition and subtraction, he would always say how he saw stuff in his in his head. He would say, mommy, I see it in my head. He would start to get things so quickly. I've heard that's a common thing with some kids. They can see it in their head, but they have a harder time when they go to write it down. I honestly don't know if this is gonna work or not. I am praying that it will because obviously, for those of you who have looked up this cur curriculum before, you know it is an investment. However, going into the foundational year or two before high school, I just wanted to see if a different perspective works. That is the beauty of homeschooling is seeing what works for you and your child. And this is definitely a very important subject. But for the next couple years, I really wanna make sure that we get down those foundational mathematic concepts. So this is one of the Matthew C's curriculum kits. I purchased the Zeta, which is focusing more on decimals and percents, which is kind of where we were learning last year. Some stuff he understood, some stuff just didn't really stick, to be honest with you, because decimals and percentages are something that are used so often in everyday life. I felt strongly that we needed to get down these fundamentals really before we could move on. The reason why I spent so much getting this whole kit was again, because my son is a visual learner. He loves Legos. I decided that these kits, the visual manipulatives as they call them, are going to be something that can help him make the connections in his mind. So if he's seeing things in blocks and colors and stuff, I really think that this is more where his mind is. He does have more of a scientific engineering architectural mind. I feel like that this will be potentially a good step in helping him make those connections. We're gonna glance at some of the these books on the inside. There is a lot obviously in the student workbook and then I'm just gonna pop into those boxes really quick to kind of show you what's inside. It also comes with a DVD for the lessons. Now I did look at some sample lessons online. I will tell you that they're not like the most modern, most up to date, but the teaching itself, although it might be a little bit more potentially boring to some. I think that if he's hearing somebody other than me teach as well, that him and I both can sit down and watch these together, understand the concepts, and it might even help me understand math a little bit more too. I am not at all a math whiz by any stretch. For those of you that don't know, I was homeschooled kindergarten through 12th grade, and then I went on to college and to get a job, and I have never really had a job that's intense in the mathematics department. I have noticed that I probably didn't 
learn some mathematical concepts as well as others. So for me going through this process with him might actually help me to be honest with you. And I hope that as we do it together, that it will just strengthen both of us in the way we communicate when it comes to mathematics. Cause I feel like there's been a little bit of a disconnect in that area because I'm seeing something in a book, I'm trying to teach him. And I think sometimes he struggles to get what's in his mind down on paper. If you have used Math You See and used their DVD or online streaming, please let me know what you think. Share it in the comments because if your children are different age groups, maybe it isn't working for some, maybe it would work for others please let me know. Okay, so I'm not gonna look at this entire book, but I am gonna just kind of flip through it really quick with you. I chose the Zeta because online, they kind of give you like a placement test option to kind of figure out where your child should start, um, especially if you're not starting from the beginning with math, you see, which obviously we are not. I chose the Zeta because that seemed more along the lines of what he learned last year. So we're kind of relaying that foundation and then moving forward. So I'm gonna let you see this right here. It starts with exponents, place value, decimal numbers, adding decimals, subtracting decimals, a few different things on the metric system, multiplying by tenths, hundredths, finding percentages, multiplying decimals, metric conversions, area, circle, more about decimals, solving unknown, converting fractions, more about decimals, mean, median, and mode, probability, points, lines, and rays, planes, symbols, angles, and types of angles. Honestly, I've not looked into this fully, so just bear with me because <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot of practice sheets in here, systematic review sheets, application and enrichment. And so as they go through, it looks like they just kind of do that. They do the application and enrichment, the practice lessons, systematic review. And a lot of this I think is gonna be super duper easy starting out. In the back they have symbols and tables. It just kind of helps remind you what certain things mean. Here it has the glossary of terms. So that's really helpful. So basically this is the student workbook. If I feel like he can move forward, even after he's done with this, let's say he breezes right through it, then I can just go ahead and get the next up. The next up would actually be the pre-algebra. So that might be something that I do. I don't know if I'll do regular algebra with them or not. It really just depends on how this one goes and if I feel like he needs to step up into the pre-algebra from here. Next is the test booklet. So there are 30 tests and then some unit tests and final exam in the back. Um, it's just a basic lesson. It's just a basic text booklet. <laughs> and even looking through this, I'm kind of like, is this too basic for him? Maybe he's a step up. I'd rather relay this foundation and know that he knows it before moving forward. And that's really my goal going into seventh grade is making sure I know, right? This is the instruction manual right here. It gives you the um, contents right here. In the back, it has all the solutions for the workbook and the test booklet, the glossary and all the indexes. So even though there is the lesson that we're gonna be watching, they do, they do still give some lesson material for you to read through and understand from the lesson that you're watching. So I'll have this as a backup just if I need extra clarification on something. So it has 30 lessons in here and it has all the student solutions. And then there's the glossary in the back and the symbols and tables here. And then here in the very back, it takes you to the master index for the general math. So it's letting you know which one of their curriculums has the teaching on a certain part of math. For example, here it says addition was taught in primer and alpha, and then multi-digit addition was in beta and so on. So it's telling you the basic concepts, which level of their curriculum it was taught in. So if you needed to refer back, you would, if you have the other lesson books, let's say, or the other teacher keys, you'd be able to refer back to that initial teaching on that on that math topic. This is the hunking Lego-ish type set here. This is our block kit. So he's gonna be able to put these together. And I think this is honestly the part you'll probably have the most fun with. The good news about this is I could probably resell it if I don't need it after a while. This is definitely not a cheap set. So it definitely would be valuable to someone who's looking forward to using it. So it gives you a little example here on how they utilize these 
manipulatives. So you can see right here, the different colored blocks and how they line it up to equal, you know, a visual. Here you go, more examples right here. So for those of you who don't know or never heard of this before, maybe this would be very interesting for you and your children to try um, because it is just a very, um, you know, it's a good visual way to come into an understanding of math teaching. But they actually have a digital version of all this. I wish I would have known that. I think I didn't see that for some reason. Maybe you should look into the digital manipulative option here. They also have a fraction overlay kit, which I did not purchase but I did get the algebraic decimal insert kit. So I'll have to see, I hope I don't need the fraction one, but I think if he's got the fractions for the most part, I probably won't. We'll just utilize what we have for right now. I'll probably look at the digital manipulative option for any further things that we need um, outside of what I already purchased. And so this is the whole box right here. They just look like Legos basically. And they snap together. Um, each one represents a different number. It will be very interesting to see how this works. And then there's these big blocks right here. So this is for the algebra. Not quite sure how we're going to use all these because I haven't watched in any of the lessons yet. But this is the algebraic part right here. It kind of has a little thing here to show us what we're going to do. Right here, you can kind of see how they would use it. There's for more of the algebra parts. I will have to do a review on all this at some point and let you know how it's working for us. Honestly, this is a let's do it and see. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Homeschool is all about figuring out what works. And really, I just ask for wisdom. You just kind of have to try stuff and know that if it doesn't work out, that you can maybe try and sell it to someone else who can use it. Because we're all kind of in different places in our homeschool journey. It's been great to share this with you today. Again, leave me a comment on your thoughts about this curriculum. Make sure you stay tuned for other videos that I have coming out. I will be doing more on our upcoming 7th grade 2003-2024 school year. But our summer is going to be coming to an end soon, so we will be starting our school year. This new school year is definitely going to be a big adventure for us, so we're just taking it one day at a time and seeing how everything progresses. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, I encourage you, try something, see if it works. There's always tons of homeschool groups out there. There's other homeschool moms battling the same thing, reach out to homeschool groups and figure out what other people do with their kids of the different age groups. And just know that you're not alone in this journey of figuring out what is best for your children or your child. I hope you have a blessed summer and just stay tuned for more videos. I look forward to putting them out here soon. Make sure you take a deep breath, take a break and shine bright.